Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Alright, so today let us look at this question that we have. We are supposed to factorize this expression over here involving x where we have three factors, right? x squared minus 1, x plus 3, x plus 5, but we have a 16 added behind these three factors over here. So the first thing that we should recognize is that x squared minus 1 should be written in the form of a squared minus b squared, and hence this is an identity that we should be familiar with, which is a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So therefore, this can be written as x minus 1, x plus 1 as such. So let us go and write that down first and then we can assess what we have. Alright, so now that we have four factors over here, the next thing that we can notice is actually that from each factor to the next, there is simply a difference of two. From negative 1 to positive 1 to positive 3 and then to positive 5. All right, and keeping this in mind, we could perhaps use a substitution over here. All right, let y be equals to x plus 2. Now, why x plus 2? Reason being, if all of these are consecutive terms with an equal difference, x plus 2 would be the term that is right in the middle. Therefore, we will be able to achieve a nice expression. Okay, so this is what it will look like. I will now have x sorry, y minus 3 times y minus 1 multiplied by y plus 1 multiplied by y plus 3 and don't forget to include the 16 as well, alright? So as of right now, again, we can see that y minus 3 and y plus 3 can be applied in our identity over here that we mentioned earlier so that we can achieve y squared minus 3 squared. So let's write that down first. And the same applies for y minus 1 multiplied by y plus 1 to get y squared minus 1 squared plus 16. So now let's evaluate what we have. y squared minus 9 multiplied by y squared minus 1 plus 16 over here. So as of right now, we can't factorize this any further. So let us try to expand this expression and see what we get out of it. So y squared multiplied by y squared gives us y to the power of 4 minus y squared minus 9y squared plus 9 because negative 9 times negative 1 gives us positive 9 plus 16. So simplify this, we have y to the power of 4 minus 10y squared plus 25. Now, even though the power is to 4 and to 2, Right, technically we could look at it as if we were looking at a quadratic equation. So the first thing that we should be looking at is whether we can factorize this into two nice factors, which indeed we can, right? Because this is effectively of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, which can then be factorized into a minus b whole thing squared. Where our a should be y squared, where our b should be 5. Therefore, the above can be factorized into y squared minus 5 whole thing squared. But that's not the end because the original question came in terms of x. So therefore, if we substituted x with y, we're going to have to switch it back to x. Okay, so let's bring our friend x back into the equation. x plus 2 squared minus 5 whole thing squared. And then let's expand this out. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4 because a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared alright minus 5 whole thing squared over here okay so as you can see this will give us x squared plus 4x minus 1 whole thing squared and therefore since this expression within the brackets can't be factorized any further this will simply be our final factorized form. So just to recap over here, we have made use of several identities, the main one being the difference of squares, a squared minus b squared at the start. 
Alright? And after recognizing that these four terms have a constant difference, we then made use of a suitable substitution such that we obtain a very symmetrical expression. Alright? And then we factorize into this form, switch it back to x, and the rest is pretty mechanical, alright? Nothing much to talk about it. Okay? So therefore, this is how we approach such questions. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.